We have a guest here today on our live feed here. Danzig, come on around and come say hello to everybody. Up, Danzig, up. <laughs> he's a very busy doggy here today coming in to say hello. And I think he's looking for some treats here. We may see him pop in and out from time to time. But in the meantime, we're having a little dance party because we're going to learn today how to spin some poi. So welcome everybody. Here we are on week three of How to Circus with Ignite Circus. And I'm your host, Danielle, and today we're going to be making some poi. So you're probably wondering, what are poi? Poi are those fun things that I was just spinning around while I was having my own little dance party here today. And you're probably wondering, why am I having a dance party here today? It's because I want to celebrate all of my friends on April 2nd because today is Autism Awareness Day. And as you may know, we're doing these videos because normally tonight at 6.30, I would be hanging out with my friends from the Autism Society. So huge shout out to all of my friends from the Autism Society today because I hope that you're celebrating today too. Anyways, before we go too far, we have a draw that we're going to do. Remember last week when we made the hula hoops? Well, I have a whole bunch of names in this hat here now, and we're going to draw to give away two blue and green hula hoops. Are you ready? Drum roll, please, and... Danzig, are you gonna help us pick the name? Are you? You gonna help us pick the name? Who is it? You're gonna read it together? My goodness, you're a very busy doggy today. <gasps> and the winner is Joella and Cody. I don't know if you, or Corey. Joella and Corey. I don't know if you can see the writing on the note, but congratulations. Expect a private message from me soon. It'll either be from Ignite Circus or from Dan Yell. And we'll arrange how we can get you your hula hoops. I can't wait to hear how much fun you're having learning how to hula hoop. So. Now, the reason that we're all here today is to learn how to make some poi. So you saw I had some really fancy light up ones and they're pretty cool, aren't they? But you don't need to have fancy lights in order to have poi. If you do want fancy lights, follow the steps that we have and you can always tie glow sticks on in the end. But for now, we're gonna start with a pair of socks. Try to make sure that they're not too dirty or smelly because you're gonna be playing with these socks for a long time. All right, there's one. Let's get the other sock here now. One, two, ha, yay. All right, now I have two socks. Now, do you remember on our first week together when we made a set of juggling balls? I hope you still have your juggling balls from week one because we're going to use them again today. We're not going to juggle with them though, although I suppose you could if you'd like. What we're going to do is we're going to take one ball and we're going to put it in the toe of one sock. And I like to tie a knot so this stays here a little bit, just makes life a little bit easier. You don't have to tie a knot here if you don't want to though. There's one. The next one, one ball, one sock. Oh, hello, you love playing with balls, don't you? Is that what you're looking for now? It probably is. Yes, you're a very good boy. What a great assistant I have here today. All right. There. Now we have two. One, two, hello. <laughs> what do you think of these? Yeah, are you inspecting? Awesome, all right, you're a very good boy. So, now, are you ready to learn how to use your new sock poi? 
Are you ready to learn how to use your new soft toy too? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the first part is you're going to hold your toy between your two fingers. So stick it in like this and then grab around. One of the reasons why I find it's easier to hold it between fingers is so that when you're spinning, you can change directions a little bit easier. Or if you have a big fancy loop, like my set of toy do, then you can put two fingers through the loop, just like that, and hold on to it upside down like this. There we go. So that's why I'm going for two fingers through my loop first, okay? But if you find it hard to hold on with two fingers, give yourself another knot here up at the top. There. Now you've got a stopper to hold on to your second loop. All righty, now I'm gonna tie another knot on this one. And we're ready to get spinning. As you can see, these poi do work just as well as my light up ones, but they don't show up nearly as well on the camera for everyone else to be able to see this, right? So I'm gonna switch over to my LED poi for the remainder of this video, so that way you can follow along and learn some cool new moves on how to spin them just like this. <laughs> and then you can get started practicing with your brand new set of poi as well. All right. So, I have my big fancy poi. I have my loops through two fingers, just like this, to make sure that they're nice and secure. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and spin my poi in a circle, okay? On each side of me in my room, I have two walls on each side. I also have a wall in front of me and a wall behind me, okay? I'm going to think about the wall in front of me and the wall behind me. And I'm going to call this one wall plane. If I want to look at the ones on the side of me, I'm going to kind of forget that there's two walls next to me. And I'm going to think more about them like wheels on a car. So if we're spinning our poi on the side, this is called wheel plane. If we spin our poi in front and behind, this is called wall plane. And the reason why planes are so important when you spin poi is because you want your poi to follow a real nice straight line when you're spinning. I'll turn this way so you can see what I mean. So see how my poi is staying in the same line? It's not going kind of sideways like this so you can see the loop. That's a different plane. This is a nice, tight plane here on my wheel plane. See that, how it's almost like just showing up like a line instead of a big circle? Now you get a nice flat circle on my wall plane, or on my, yes, on my wall plane instead of on my wheel plane. So if I was to turn to the side on my wheel plane, now you see a circle. See the difference? It's all about the person who's watching you. So if the person who's watching you sees a big circle on your front, or a big circle on your back, that is a wall plane. If the person watching you sees big circles on your sides, like this, this is your wheel plane, okay? So let's try and do big circles on our wheel plane and big circles on our wall plane. And we'll take turns with our two hands first. We'll go with our dominant hand first and then we'll do it with our not dominant hand. If we spin our poi in the same direction at the same time with both hands, that's called same time together. If we spin our poi at the same time in opposite directions with our two hands, that's called same time opposite. Take a moment and play around with those on each plane so we can go same time together on our wheel plane. We can also go same time opposite on our wheel plane. 
And we can do that on our wall plane as well. Same time together. And same time, split. Or same time, opposite. All right, now let's get into something that's going to be a little bit trickier. Are you ready? All right, this is called a two beat weave. From the front, it looks kind of like this, which is kind of cool, but from the side, it looks even better. I'm going to turn this way just because there's bright lights all over my room here. This is a two beat weave from the side. Isn't that cool? It's really big, isn't it? So I'll show you from the front angle first, and then I'll show you from the side angle what I'm doing. From the front, I'm taking one koi, and I'm going to make a big figure eight across my body. So I'm going to start it so it's pointing down. On this side, I'm going to bring my arm all the way around behind me, and then up and across my body. Now I'm going to bring it all the way behind me, up and across my body again. And I'm going to do that until I can feel a cool rhythm. You'll feel the poi tugging on your string as you get a nice bouncing rhythm here. Okay? If you're ready for a challenge, just start following the other one with your non-dominant hand. Now, this is a two-beat weave with same time together. If you want to get that cool staggered look, then split your time. So you're going same time split, or together split. Ha! It's so confusing sometimes keeping track of the words. The main thing is that both of your poi are doing two beats. One, two, one, two. And as this one's going across this way, this one's getting ready to follow it. So then it comes this side. The other thing you're going to notice is when you're doing a two beat weave, you're always going to cross on top with the same hand. So if I put my non-dominant hand here, I can bring this one all the way across it. Let it loop around and come back. Now what am I going to do this one? I'm going to follow it all the way around. <gasps> now it's under that arm again. What am I going to do? Take this one. Over. <laughs> Sorry, making noise. Make sure you move anything breakable out of your way here, okay? So this arm's in front. This arm crosses over. This arm's going to come out and go back under again. This one's going to go over, this one comes out and under. See that? So as you go, eventually, it'll turn into this. This takes a lot of practice, so if you don't get it right away, try and slow it down and try and go one beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. So from the side, if I put my non-dominant hand out first, my dominant arm comes over, the poise swings around and I come back. Now this arm will come around and it'll go underneath that arm and hang out there. This one swings around, comes back. This one will come and go under. Okay, or we go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, if you do one, two, with each hand enough times, and then you start to speed it up. One, two, 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 one, two. Eventually, it will flow into your two beat weave. So, I'll show you one more move with the poi for now, and then you can go on and you can keep practicing as much as you'd like, because I know that this does take a lot of effort to practice over and over and over again until you start getting the hang of it. All right, so we were doing one, two, one, two on our sides, right? One beat, one beat, one beat, one beat. Now, if we do them same time together in front of us, we get a cool butterfly effect, don't we? So let's try doing far apart, big circles at the same time opposite, okay? So that means that they're gonna spin opposite directions. This one's gonna spin in towards me, and this one's gonna spin in towards me instead of both of them going the same direction, okay? So I'm gonna bring them out and around like this. 
I'm going to start really wide, okay? And what you'll notice is eventually one koi is going to go in front of the other, okay? You might be able to see it better from this plane here. So can you see how one of my poi is always in front of the other? One is always in front of the other. So for me, this arm is much closer into my body than this arm when I do this move, kind of like this. But I was really going to exaggerate it. Okay? So start really far apart. Give yourself lots of space. Pick the poi that's going to stay on the inside. And as you find the timing, so each time you bring your poi down, bring your hands closer together. Okay? Eventually, you'll have your wrists together, and you can do this cool butterfly move. Just like that neat, hey? It almost looks like butterfly wings. <laughs> now, if you want an extra, extra, extra hard challenge, and you've mastered your two-beat weave, and you've mastered your butterfly, and you've got perfect planes on both your wheel and your wall, then you can try this butterfly that goes in more than one direction. So I'm going to start my butterfly and get the rhythm going. And now when the wings lift, so they go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just like that. When the wings lift, I'm going to lift it above my head. So I'm going to go like this. Whoa, <laughs> this is a bit tight quarters here. Let me try this a little bit further back. There we go. Okay. So butterfly. And we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah. Cool, hey? That one is really tricky. So it takes a lot to get used to the timing on it. But if you practice lots, I know you'll get the hang of it. So I hope that this gives you lots to start working with on your new poi spinning. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to get at me in the private messages. You can DM me. Um, and any questions you have at all, feel free to let me know. Also, like I said in the last video, if you are interested in doing any like one-on-one -on -one video lessons, through Messenger or Skype, we are also equipped to do that. So don't hesitate to reach out. I love getting together with all of you on Thursday nights. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to making flower sticks with you all next week.